when gunships outfitted with similar ordnance laid waste to fields of Mandalorian recruits in the night of a thousand tears. For Mandalore, hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new to the channel, please give us a subscribe. Shout out to all of our new subscribers over the past little while. And if you like this video, feel free to force push the like button. Let's get right into it. We're having a good time here. Look, this is just something that uh, I, when it first happened, I thought about and I wasn't going to do a video on it, but I said, let's just do it. Moff Gideon clone. Is he a clone? Is he not a clone? Well, obviously there were multiple, multiple, multiple clones of Moff Gideon. Now the Moff Gideon at the end of the episode of the season finale of the Mandalorian, was that a clone or was that the actual Moff Gideon himself? I'm going to speculate right now that that was actually a clone. Furthermore, I'm going to speculate that this entire season, the third season of The Mandalorian, has been a clone of Moff Gideon. This is pure speculation, just having fun, don't hate me. Here's the deal, people have pointed out <laughs> all over that suddenly Moff Gideon no longer bears, no longer has a mustache. There's no more mustache on Moff Gideon. This is the stupidest thing you're going to hear, but this, think about this. The clone we see in the cloning tank also has no mustache. Is there a possibility that the Moff Gideon in that Shadow Council that has been running around this season of The Mandalorian is in fact a clone? Are there multiple Moff Gideon running around the galaxy at this time? Probably not. He does make it seem like it is Moff Gideon towards the end when he says I want to clone myself and I want him to be force sensitive. Now, okay, that could be actually him or it could be a clone. If you've ever seen Multiplicity, clones, you know, there's varying level of degree of intelligence when it comes to cloning. This Moff Gideon could be a clone, could actually have wanted even more power, his clones to be even more powerful, and he wanted his Beskar troopers to be himself as force sensitives. So the possibility is that Moff Gideon could be a clone. The other question is, is he even dead at the end? We never see his face behind that mask at the end of the episode either he bursts into flames and beskar maybe it protected him maybe it melted we don't know it does melt in fire that we know so i would speculate that he has been killed but anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments below are we stretching it probably yes but it's a lot of fun anyway moff Gideon, alive dead here we go comment below i have spoken